Hey everyone, so welcome to the announcement of the winners for January. Everybody had to use green in their painting. I would have to say this month blew my mind. There was so many people that participated. Yeah, almost, probably more than ever, right? Almost double what we normally get, so that yeah. was crazy. So you guys like green, apparently. Yeah, and everyone did something so unique and different. Yeah, there was like, we're gonna go through our top 10 favorites. But it was hard to choose top 10, honestly. We sat here for a very long time. We argued, we like, you know, <laughs> arm wrestled. I made the statement that Dimitra is bossier than me and she always gets her way, so. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> so this piece by Sage um, Goodrick, we really love this piece. Um, I just thought it was so, just really unique and different and you don't see that, I mean, I haven't seen anything like this. It almost feels like street art in a way. Every time you look at it, you find something new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's such an interesting take on new growth, you know? Yeah. And then this piece was also really cool. Um, we both really love this piece. I was just very unique and the vibe of it was almost, I don't know, like the cat kind of looked like a snake or a lizard, but it was a cat. You definitely get this feeling like a story is being told. And I liked that it was on the whimsical side and stylized and, you know, not, you know. Not typical. Not typical. So yeah. I, I, I like that. This piece I think is really well done by Emma. Um, the abstract, I, I think this is such a sellable piece because of the colors, how it feels like there's almost this image. It's like hidden and you don't see it at first, but then you see the flower. Just your use of color and all of it combined, I think you made a really, yeah, really beautiful piece. I just love this abstract. I love all the greens. The greens just really transition through from a blue green to a yellow green and everything in between. There's such a beautiful sort of depth to it and you just feel like you're in some kind of ethereal landscape. I just think it's very pleasing and relaxing to it look is. at. So. Yeah, very calming. So Abby's piece is also really striking and um, she has her, this unique way of layering images, mm -hmm. abstract and graphic shapes. And yeah. it's just, her style really stands out. And I just love looking at all those um, drawings and yeah. I think pen, pen and ink, ink or, yeah. or charcoal. I don't even know how she did that, but it's really cool to look at. Obviously fits the theme really well. Yeah, super cool. So here we have Lana Vingard and uh, Bloom in the Desert. So this is really cool. I love the sort of, I don't know, um, Pizarro uh, slash Cezanne kind of style, and but in a, in a contemporary way with contemporary color and themes. I lived in the desert for many years, and so Blooms in the Desert is definitely something we all look forward to about this time of year. I think the greens are really well done. It just has a, a very- um, Whimsical, dreamy, yeah, surreal feeling. Yeah, it, it does feel surreal and whimsical and- yeah, I love this and how she mixed all these different greens and they're With not the typical green. Yeah, it's really well done. This piece I feel like really stands out. I could see it being very popular because of Julian did a really good job with the portrait and she feels very, I mean, super realistic, but also in this like stylistic dreamy way. Yeah, I like how one eye is blue and one eye is orange. Yeah. That's cool. And Drula Gray, that is a cool name. And Drula Gray, that's like an art name. <laughs> Let's dance with lotus flowers. I really love this. I love the ballerina in a green tutu. You don't see that very often. So it, it definitely comes across like Tinkerbell or like a fairy. Mm -hmm. And she's in this like garden where the flowers are enormous. So it kind of nods its head at at her being a fairy or or something like that. So I, I think it's really well done. Yeah, and she's really immersed with her background. I think that's something yeah. that, you know, is hard to do when you have when you're painting a figure or a person, they feel kind of separate from the background sometimes or a lot of the time. So by just the way she painted that, and... it's its really like one whole painting. This piece is stunning um, by Mary Nadlo. Um, I think just how you painted the light and all those orbs in the background, mm -hmm. I just think it's really well done. This looks like you put so much time into this painting and the flowers are so real feeling and lifelike. You feel like you could just touch them. I think you did an amazing job. Valerie Marochnikova. 
Okay, I think this is really dreamy, really beautiful. I love how the colors are just so pleasing and the light. I love how the light just kind of lands on all those flamingos. Mm -hmm. And it's very lyrical how the necks kind of flow one into the other and your eye just travels around. So I'm um, really well done and just executed with excellence, so. Yeah, and I think this piece is very sellable as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of yeah, people would. Sure. And we live in Florida and we get people saying they want flamingos. Absolutely. So we actually just sold a flamingo painting today. Yeah. So I think um, this is a very sellable piece. Okay, so I think that's it for our top 10. Now we're gonna get into the, the winners. winners. So skills winner goes to Abby Dellinger. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, definitely deserve it. Did a great job. You got some skills and you, you found a way to put those skills towards something very interesting and unique and lovable. A lot of people would love this piece. And if you haven't already sold it, I'm sure you're gonna sell it very soon. Okay, the theme winner that best captured the theme for Art Club in January 2024. Okay, I'm getting too dramatic. I won't, I'll stop. Andrula Gray, so you encapsulated the theme. She looks like she's reaching for her new growth, her new life. She's She's like these flowers just um, blooming. blooming. So congratulations, well-deserved win. And do you wanna do the next one? Sellability winner goes to... No drum roll? Oh, I'm just going straight to it. <laughs> she is a blunt bomb over here, look out. <laughs> okay, Emma Hollingworth, I think you really deserve this. Um, your piece is very sellable. I think so many people would enjoy this in their I home. I think Demetra wants to buy it. I do, I really like, I was thinking like I, could find so many places this, in here that this, this would look good. fit your decor, definitely. Yeah, and the colors are very pleasing. The greens, you chose a unique color palette. So great job. Okay, last winner. Last winner. Or last judge's choice. Last judge's choice is uniqueness winner. All right, here we go. You guys ready? You ready? Who's gonna guess? Which is it? Which is it? <laughs> Boom! Sage Goodrick, congratulations. You win uniqueness. I love all those like swishy things that go through it. This is such a hard subject matter to pull off. Like yeah. you incorporated so many animals, colors, patterns, texture, and it all worked. It just takes a lot of skill to pull something like that off. So good job. All right, and now for the community choice. Community choice. So we have nothing to do with this. This is you guys putting your votes and you choosing who you think um, should win this contest of new growth using green. $500. Are you ready? $500. That pays for all your art club. Oh, congratulations to Julian. This is a beautiful piece, really well done. Um, you have so many different types of greens. Yeah, it's just like a really lovely, surreal, dreamy portrait. Congratulations, we're so happy for you. So this is our next theme for February, all about true love. So we want you guys to capture in a painting what true love means to you. So you can take that as literal or abstract as you want, and we can't wait to see your creations. And we really love seeing how you all interpret these themes and seeing how it pushes you and different levels of your painting. So we are really excited for this. Go for it, don't be afraid to join these contests. It's a lot of fun. And we have people who've been doing this for a few years now and they just get better and better yeah. through these contests. And it's really fun to see that. So um, get your entries in before the end of the month and we will announce a True Love winner next month. So we'll see you then and thanks for participating.